Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here on behalf of my creative gear for the month of August, and this is my muse. Now, this, I guess we're going to interrupt this paper making video for something way different, and that is what my muse is for the last two weeks. I think it's been two weeks. Um, with all the purging and stuff that I've done, I found lots of cool things that I really enjoyed and kept them and tried to finish them. So this is the first one. This is knitting. <laughs> um, I made this baby afghan probably, oh geez, I don't know, a year ago, five years ago. I, I have no idea when I started this thing and it's, you know, a decent sized baby afghan. I need to weave in the ends, but it's finished. And I had probably a little more than half to finish on it, and I finished it. There's where I changed my yarn. <laughs> Let me put you down closer. It's just garter stitch. Nothing exciting, but the sides are what make it. It's just, you know, like this. It's a very basic baby afghan or baby throw or whatever you want to call it, a baby blanket. I sought out a knitting group where I live and they take their baby things over to, I think it's a homeless shelter that have women that are about to have babies or, you know, um, pregnant teens. I can't remember what it is, but they take all their baby stuff over there. They do a lot of knitting for charity. They knit these really cool flag afghans and take them over to the nursing home for the veterans there. So this is baby afghan number one. And I was so excited about finishing that one that I started number two. I have a drawer full of baby, um, baby yarn and decided that I need to do something with it. So then I knit this one, which is the exact same pattern as this one. But this one's way smaller because the balls of yarn I had were very small. But I used up what I had. It took two 50 gram balls. Um, and so I finished this one. Well, then I was so excited about doing that that I looked in the drawer and I found more baby yarn. <laughs> same exact pattern, different kind of yarn. And I made this one. All this within the last two weeks. So I did two whole baby afghans and finished another one. And I am on a knitting kick. I cannot explain. <laughs> the thing is, is that I have not doodled in uh, over a month. I have done the bare minimum filming because I've been knitting. <laughs> I've been knitting like a beast. And I'm enjoying knitting with the ladies. Uh, they meet at a Methodist church, and I enjoy knitting with them. So I figured this would be my contribution for a while to the charitable cause, because I'm not doing a red, white, and blue afghan. They're crocheting. I knit. Um, I crochet, but I just don't necessarily enjoy it. And what I've been doing is, you know what, when your uh, sheets and things come in these zipper bags or pillowcases or any kind of, this is from JCPenney Home Collection, Euro Sham. So this is really old bag. What I do is, when I go to knit with them, I only take a few things in this bag with me. And this is what I use when I go. Let me open it up. I use Addy Turbo knitting needles and their... Um, Whoops, the glare. Um, Addy Turbos. These are size sevens, and this is a 40 inch because the, the last one, this baby afghan, was rather wide because it's a larger yarn than the other two. Take that with me. I take my needle sizer that's specific to Addy Turbos. Hang on. Dadgummit, I thought for sure I was going to make it through one video without the dogs barking at the door. <sighs> Hope spring is eternal. Okay, so got the Addy Turbos, got the, um, this is called Turbo Needle Gauge from the Skakel Collection. I carry this with me because sometimes I think my needles get in the wrong bag. I always try, let's say, let's leave out the word always. I try to leave the needles in the same bag and put the bag with the needles with the project. Here is the pattern, which I can't 
I can only tell you this was copyrighted by a woman named Bev Quaham from 1998. And it is an off, it's called Knit Baby Blanket. Um, here is the, the last one that I did, the bigger one. This is what I used. I found it in a drawer. I don't really like this kind of yarn. Um, but I had it and I wanted to use it up. Now I have more space for other stuff that I like. A softer baby yarn. This is not as soft as I would like. Then I carry my chibis. Um, this is from Clover. Wait, let me go. Clover chibi. Those of you who don't know what a chibi is. Oh, is the chibi in there? No, a regular sewing needle. All right, so I have the two plastic needles, you know, for weaving in ends if you don't like just using a crochet hook. Where's the chibi? Son of a gun, there it is. <laughs> this is a chibi. A chibi is a large eyed needle. I don't know, can you see it? There you go. A large eyed needle whose end is bent slightly at the end. And these are great for getting into things so you can get them and then flip it up and then sew through it. So I keep it in here. I keep the other sewing needles in here even though it does say chibi. It's a great needle holder anyway. This is a two-ended crochet hook where there's a larger end and a smaller end that I carry with me. Oh, and there's another needle because I started out with the small one a 24 inch and then as the afghan got larger I had to switch it over to the 40 inch then when I started doing the decreases for it I switched back to the 24 because 40 inch with that much left to is a mess okay uh, what else is in here scissors and another crochet hook and that's the last of the skein of yarn that I did I will save this because this will make a uh, a trim or the rim of a newborn baby hat. So I don't get rid of my baby balls. I save them and then I buy white yarn and add this to the white yarn to make something cute later. I also knit preemie hats and I did a hundred of those, I don't know, six, eight years ago and donated them all to the Naval Hospital in Portsmouth, Virginia. So that's what I've been doing. This is my muse. Uh, let me hear from you if you knit and crochet. There's plenty of uh, videos on YouTube to show you how to knit, to show you how to crochet. It is so much fun, and it's not an expensive hobby unless you go bonkers like I did. You need a hook, some thread, and a video. Or yarn, not thread, yarn. Um, and that's it. Really, seriously, it's not an expensive hobby unless you make it that way, and I did but I had a great time doing it, <laughs> just like paper. All right, so that's my muse for the month of August. I will see you guys in September. Bye.